Alright guys, so welcome back to another More with Moro's video. Today's video is going to be a morning clean with me. I was feeling super motivated this morning, so we'll see how much I can clean. But first, I want to say a huge thank you to Built Bar for sponsoring today's video. They have been a huge supporter of this channel, and honestly, I cannot thank them enough. You guys know I am in love with their protein bars. This one right here, the coconut one, is one of my favorites. 17 grams of protein literally feels, feels, <laughs> taste like you are biting into a chocolate bar. It is just so good. And this is how I started my morning. I was feeling super motivated and I was like, you know what? I'm hungry. I'm gonna go ahead and eat a Built Bar while I'm making the bed. But just so you guys know that they are completely guilt-free. I think that one, if I go back, it has only four grams, four grams of sugar, which you could never do with any other protein bar. Well, you could, but it's not going to taste as good. I can promise you guys that. And I have been getting some comments from you guys saying that you guys have tried Built Bar and you guys have loved them yourselves. So it just makes me very happy to hear. And hopefully you guys are also using my coupon, which is Moros10. Definitely get that discount with a 10% off. And you guys will have to let me know what is your favorite flavors because they have so many different kinds. Like I showed you guys, the coconut one's my favorite, the almond coconut's my favorite, the mint brownie, the salted caramel. I have loved them so, 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 so much. So if you guys check them out and want to purchase their bars, again, my code is MOROS10. Get that discount, try it, and you don't even have to eat it just for workouts. Like I said, I have mine for breakfast or even a snack or even a late night snack. So anyways, that link will be down below for you guys. But jumping right into this video, like I said, this is going to be a morning clean with me. I was feeling super motivated this morning. You guys know the first thing I do besides make coffee, of course, is I go ahead and open all of the blinds. So I love all the light to come in. That is one of the first things that I will do in the morning. Something about a dark house honestly makes me feel so sad and gloomy. So I just like to bring a little bit of that vitamin D inside. And then usually in the morning, I always unload the dishwasher. If Frank has it already, we have like our own little cleaning routine in the morning. We'll open the blinds, we'll make coffee, we'll unload the dishwasher. That's usually our routine. And on top of that as well, we'll at least put a load of laundry on if we need to, which is mostly every single day. I've tried to keep up on laundry. I have to do one load every single day, sometimes multiple loads a day. And that also keeps us caught up. Not always, but definitely helps. Another part of our morning routine is wiping down the tables and Fletcher's high chair or his little stool thingy, a booster seat, um, because this is a ritual after every single meal, I will just go ahead and get the table or give the table a quick wipe down. And this was after the breakfast madness. So there was stuff all over that island. There was toys all over the floor. Don't worry, you guys, that's just a salt gun for flies. If you guys know anything about flies in the summer in the south, then you know it can be very bad. So the salt gun comes in handy. Um, but we actually just got back from a trip to Nashville. Frank and I went there with some of our friends for our anniversary. Um, so when I came back, I feel like I had more laundry to do 
than <laughs> what I when I packed everything. Let me know if that happens to you guys. I'm like, um, I don't remember having this many dirty clothes, but it somehow multiplies. So I went ahead and started my clothes. Actually, I had to catch up on everybody's clothes. So not only my clothes, Frank's clothes from the trip, and then I thought I had caught up from the kids' clothes before I left, but when I came back, all of their hampers were full, so that is what I'm also gonna be doing. But right now, I am taking all the cushion covers off of the pillows in the living room. They have been dirty. I feel like I also just cleaned these as well, but they get dirty so easily, which is why I cannot suggest cushion covers enough because it definitely comes in handy. I got away with it for so long with having pillows with no covers to come off, but it's just not possible anymore. So take those bad boys off, give them a quick wash and struggle. You guys will see here in a little bit, struggle to get them back on. They are a pain in the butt, but they are definitely worth it. But here I am picking up all the scattered toys throughout the house so I can have a clean floor, a clean slate to work with. Also, I was gonna say this because I got the best, one of the best advice today from a friend. I was telling her about my therapy appointment um, and talking about how hard it was and everything like that. And she asked me, okay, so what is your, like your safe space? And I said, probably my bedroom, my bed is my safe space. She said, okay, start with that and you will feel so much better every single day and then or it will help every single day i should say and i'm like i never thought about that you know they always say to make your bed first thing in the morning to motivate you to get you going and i just like never put two and two together now given everybody's safe space is different but um anyways i just wanted to pass that along because it definitely helped me this morning to stay motivated because lately i have been this is like a total tangent um but struggling with some things and might be something i open about open up, open up to you about in the future maybe a possible brits brew video on my main channel Brittany morrow anyways i've started therapy again i've been dealing with a lot and it's just been a real struggle to do things lately um, and just kind of push through things like keeping a clean house and doing laundry, taking care of kids, all the, all the things um, has been very difficult. So um, I don't know. I needed to hear that advice today and it definitely helped. So just wanted to pass that along in case it could help one of you guys as well. Um, but I am fluffing out the cushions, I guess. <laughs> I always have to do that with these cushions. Oh, and as I was doing that, look at this. I found a whole stash of wrappers and food and gummies. I'm gonna let you guys guess which one of the kids does that. Leave it down in the comments below. Who do you think stuffs all of that stuff behind there? Um, and I wanna see how many people will get it right. So another thing that I have been neglecting is our kitchen sink. So after I did the dishes, I wiped it down or scrubbed it with the barkeeper's friend and you guys will see the before and after of that. It is pretty scratched up, but you guys can see like it used to be so dull and then now how shiny it is. Like I was mentioning to you guys before, putting on the cushions are so much harder than taking them off. That is the only downside to them. 
Um, thankfully, I had my friend <laughs> to talk to as I was putting them back on. But you guys will just see me struggle a little bit here. Um, and those cushions, because I washed them, they used to have little tassels on them. I know this is so irrelevant, but um, they actually ended up falling off, so I had to cut them. So note to self, if you buy covers with little tassels on them, if you wash them, they might come off. So just want to let you guys know that. But anyways, okay, back to the cushions. I knew I had to clean up the playroom. The playroom has needed a little bit of TLC lately. Actually, a lot of the toys are kind of disorganized right now, but I don't even care as much <laughs> about that as I used to. I've kind of let that go and we try to, we try our best, okay, I'll just say that. But um, like I was saying, uh, it needed a little bit of TLC. So on top of putting all the toys away and vacuuming the rug, which I probably should wash soon, um, I went ahead and took some disinfecting wipes and wiped down the cubicle. I wiped down the kids' table and also their kitchen because it I don't I've never done it before. <laughs> so it needed or I haven't done it in a while I should say. So it definitely needed a good cleaning and wiping and disinfecting. Some of you might be wondering how the shoe organizers are holding up. They are actually holding up pretty well. Fletcher does like to come in here and mess them up a little bit. Um, if it wasn't for him going in there and playing with everything, I think it would be a lot better because some of the bins kind of came apart and the lids or the covers kind of came apart as well. So I had to snap those back into place. But for the most part, the kids have kept up with it. They've been putting their shoes um, back in the right places, more so in the mudroom, but we're, we're learning, we're still learning, and I still have Fletcher's hanging up for now, but for the most part, it's good. And playroom, or the mudroom, I should say, uh, didn't really need that much cleaning. I just needed to vacuum up a little bit in the lockers, and I just vacuumed the rug. I think by now it was no longer morning. I had gotten ready like midway morning, but I was like on a cleaning roll. So I just kept cleaning and cleaning and cleaning. And I think it was like noon or right, right around now. But for the most part, I did get a lot of cleaning done in the morning. I will do that if I've been neglecting certain things or I've noticed some things need to be cleaned. I will just go ahead and knock it out in the morning. Um, but I did get my laundry done. So I went ahead and folded that, or I should say folded my bottoms and put all of my tops on a hanger and then went ahead and organized that and put it away in my closet. <laughs>
I've been actually meaning to organize my closet for a while now because I've kind of like taken things down and we've been doing a lot of traveling so I really haven't, haven't had a time to organize and put away a lot of things in my closet but I went ahead and put those bins up that you guys can see up there. One is full of my bathing suits, one is full of winter stuff and the other is full of travel stuff and actually recently Aria used my weekend bag to sleep over at her Gigi's house so I went ahead and put that back up and organized that as well. those rooms that you just do not want to touch like you just don't have the energy for it that day the girls room, the girls room you guys was that room today I'm like nope I'm not touching it I can't do it not today maybe tomorrow so that's the only room that I left like it is actually Aria and Nolan and Fletcher's room was pretty clean I didn't have to do anything in there but the last thing I'm doing is wiping down the counters. I think this is one of the last things that I did besides putting on another load of laundry. Oh, no, no, no. I put the clo the kids' clothes in the dryer. But I think we're getting to the end. Oh, wait. I totally forgot about this. I mopped the floor. Um, so, anyways, <laughs> you guys can see me mopping the floor. I went ahead and mopped the whole bottom level. Actually, I probably should have mopped the upstairs. But I was just getting to the point where I'm like, okay. I've already done a lot, Brittany. Don't overdo yourself. Don't stress out. You can save it for another day. So tomorrow I will be vacuuming and mopping the upstairs. But I just want to say thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I appreciate it more than you guys know. I hope that you guys are enjoying this video. I know you guys are also enjoying more of the food content. Let me know what else you guys would like to see. Um, we've kind of taken a little break from projects, but if there is certain projects that you guys want to see, actually, coming up I do want to redo our master bedroom I shouldn't say redo because we never redid anything to it or done anything to it since we moved in I mean we've done a few things but we've never taken the time to actually decorate it so that might be a future haul and decorating video I know I haven't really done those in a while either so Stay tuned for that because that will be a video coming up. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in our next video. Bye guys.